What's up YouTubers, it's time for another Yu-Gi-Oh! Deck V Deck video and today we're going to be continuing on from the Legendary Deck 2 and we're going to be doing a Joey V Yu-Gi deck That's right guys, one of us is going to be using Yu-Gi deck while the other is going to be using Joey's and then we're going to switch it around So, why don't we play rock paper scissors to see who will um, be choosing which deck they'll like to use first. Okay. Okay, you ready? Rock, paper, scissors. Fail! I win! And... Mm, I'd rather use Yugi's deck. <laughs> You're not happy about that, are I you? I want to use Yugi's deck first. You want it. Oh, Everyone... I really want to use Yugi's deck first. Everyone's a fan of Yugi. They all want to use Yugi's yeah, deck. It's just because we haven't used it yet. I want to use it. <laughs> oh, well, um... So without further ado guys, let's go straight to our dueling field. It's time to do 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 Alright guys, we've got our field all set up. We've got the Yugi's Legend Collection mat over here representing Yugi's deck. And we've got the Joey Legend Collection mat here representing Joey's mat. We've got our decks all set up, so without further ado, let's um, shuffle them up and get ready to duel. And of course, guys, I feel like I should mention, uh, with Yugi's deck, we're not including the free Egyptian God cards, for obvious reasons. We're not including the Trap card, Internal Soul, and the two Dark Burning, the t Burning Magic cards, because they're not originally part of this deck, since they came in a pack of their own. Just while I might say that, guys, just so that you know. And of course, give it to the opponent, to show that we're not cheating, and let them shuffle it up, because we're fair and we're nice. Rock, paper, scissors. One, two. Okay. And who's going first? You go first. I'll go first. Alright. So without further ado, let's duel. I think I'll start off with this monster in defense mode. Your move. I draw. I activate cards of redstone. So by getting rid of black, uh, red eyes, black flare dragon, I can now draw two cards from my deck. Um. And if you wanted to, you can send another red eyes from your graveyard, from your deck to the graveyard if you wanted. But you're not going to, are you? I don't know why you would. No. Uh. I will now um Okay. I will now summon up Blaze Wing Butterfly in attack mode. I will now set three cards face down and end my turn. You're not attacking? No. Alright. I'll set this face down and summon out the Blast Magician. Mm -hmm. And next I'll activate the magic card, Secret Village of the Spellcasters. With this handy dandy field spell, if I control spellcaster and you don't, I get to play all the spell cards I want, but you don't. So I just sealed all your spell cards. Next I'll flip summon. The right arm of the Forbidden One. Should have attacked it when you could. Because now I'm activating the Magicians Unite. With this card, if I control two Spellcaster monsters, I can target one of them and increase its attack points all the way up to 3,000. But the other one cannot attack. So I'll let the right arm of the Forbidden One become 3,000 attack points. Mm -hmm. And then I'll activate Blast Magician's Effect. Since I play two spell cards, it gains um, two spell counters. Then I can use its effect to take a w to target one face up once on the field, and reduces its attack points by um, the number of spell counters that are removed from this card times 700. So I'll just get rid of one and decrease your bla 
Glasswing Butterfly by 700, bringing it down to 800. So now right arm, give him the right fist. I activate Kunai Chain. So now um, I um, target Blazing Butterfly. Um, so. Um, <laughs> you forgot what Kunai oh. Chain did, didn't, didn't you? No, I'm making sure. Uh, okay, so your monster now goes to defense mode, and um, this card equips to him and gains 500. Alright, uh, um, but the decreation um, still is effective. So how much is it again? 500? Yeah, it's going to take loose up 200. Okay, I'm just trying to read, does it last until the end phase? It doesn't say, but Magicians Unite ends at the end phase, so your move. I draw. So how much attack has he got now? That's at 300, that's at 13, I think. Yeah. 13. So mm -hmm. I still lose the attack. You still lose the attack against Black Magician, but not the right arm. Is, it, is that a uh, during either player's turn? No, it's during, during my turn. Okay. Uh, I, I, our uh, normal summon blazing butterfly as an effect monster. Um, okay, and I will now tribute it with its special ability, so now I can target uh, one monster in the graveyard. Um, ex uh, and if uh, and special summon it, and it becomes an effect monster. I activate the trap card. Obliterate. Now I can send one forbidden one piece from my deck to the graveyard and I can bounce back the card in your ha to your hand. So I'll send the left arm of the Forbidden One to the graveyard as your monster then sends back to your hand. I'll set one card face down and end my turn. Draw. Okay, I'll sacrifice the Blast Magician and the right arm of the Forbidden One in order to summon out the Dark Magician. Yeah, okay. I have to make tribute by destroying all monsters on the field. You little sneak, I am my turn. I draw. Um. Okay, I am also. Uh. Dark Falcon, the attack mode. I activate Obliterate. Um, yep, and I'll send another piece of the graveyard, the right leg of the Forbidden One. Your turn. I draw. And I'll summon out Magician's Valkyria. Mm -hmm. Attack! I actually scapegoat, allowing me to send four tokens to the field. So use your joy token card. You can use my token card. Use your extra deck card. And the scapegoat card. <laughs> Alright, Magician's Valkyrian. Just destroy the alligator sword token card. I don't know why. Your move. I draw. These are the most powerful monsters in my deck. Uh, Wait, you couldn't really activate Skateco because of um, Secret Village of the Spellcasters since I control the um, spellcasters. Uh, yeah, you take 1600. Uh, yeah, your move. I've already drawn. So I will now. Uh, I will now set a monster face down to end my turn. Uh, I will activate Obliterate, sending from my deck to the graveyard. Exodia the Forbidden One, in order to bounce your defense monster back to your hand. Magician's Valkyria, attack! Your move. I draw. Oh, blue ray is just overpowered. Okay. 
Okay. Um, I will set one card face down, and I will set. I will summon the blue flame swordsman in attack mode. Um, yeah, I'll use obliterate and send the left leg from my hand. Move it to the hand. I um. Will then end my turn. I'll set this face down. The Magician's Valkyria will attack. Okay. Your move. I draw. I will uh, summon Axe Reader in attack mode. And I will attack Magician's Valkyrie. I can use now Obliterate. Okay. Bounce back to your back, back Axe Reader hand. And all I'll send is the... I send back Exodia Necros. Okay, uh, it's your turn. Magician's Valkyria, attack! Next, I'll activate Magician's Circle. Since the spellcaster type monster declared an attack, we both can summon our spellcaster from our deck. That's uh, 2,000 or less attack points. Do you have to? Well, each player can. So you can search your deck for a magician. Oh, does that have to be a magician? That's to be a spellcaster. Oh, spellcaster. Are been... you in main phase one? This is my battle phase. Oh, okay. So I'm calling out the Dark Magician Girl! And I'm... Isn't she pretty? I'm gonna call out the strongest force. Um, in, wait, how much life have we got? 16. Hmm. I will call Strongest Force in my deck. How much attack has he got? She, she got. 2,000. I also not Strongest Force in my deck, Time Wizard. Do they have to be in attack mode? Um, uh, yeah. Okay. And... It's your battle phase. Yeah, it's still my battle phase, so I can attack the Time Wizard if I want. Okay, so I have 100 life points now. Yeah, you're pretty much. That one is your chance. Your move. I draw. And I will. Norseman Rocket Warrior. In attack mode. Hmm. Actually, I will set a card face down. Hmm. And I will. Activate. Can't be a spell card. Call the haunted one. Oh, trap card. Okay. What, Continue. what can I do? You can't activate spell cards because of Secret Village. I know. Get back. Time Wizard. Okay. Um. Hmm. And I will activate Time Wizard's special ability. So if I flip a coin and pull it right, I will now be able to use its effect. That's gonna be heads. Yes. Heads! Oh my god! <laughs> yeah. All my monsters blow up, don't they? Yep. You lose all your monsters. Oh. Yes. <laughs> oh my god. I'm just double check. Is it all monsters? Yes. Ooh. Oh my mo- Oh, now you can use spell cards! Oh no! How can you spell cards when he's on the field? Even if oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> I will. Hmm. If I failed, I would have lost. Yes. Okay, Time Wizard will attack. For that massive 500. That <laughs> massive 500. Yes, he's took a damage. Uh, uh, well, yes, your turn. I activate Gold Sarcophagus. This has me so. Oh, you can't activate Spell Card. It's card. Is it, or is it just you? Oh, come on. Uh, uh, if you control Spell Card so much, your opponent does not. <gasps> Yes, you cannot activate spell cards. Yes! Are you so... <laughs> Alright, I'm activating Obliterate. <laughs> <laughs> that Time Wizard is too strong. And I'm sending the legendary Exodia Incarnate to the graveyard. So now you can... Now your Exodia goes bye-bye, back to your hands. My Exodia, my Time Wizard. Time Wizard. Well, uh, he's ba well, basically Exodia. 
<laughs> it's basic Zodia, but I am now going to turn things around. Gold sarcophagus. Oh, finally. <laughs> this lets me search from my deck for a new card. And then, after two turns, I get to have it back to my hand. So I'm going to add to my hand... Uh, marshmallow. Oh no, marshmallow is too strong. Marshmallow is too strong. <laughs> and then I'm going to activate Dark Factory of Mass Production. This lets me add two normal monsters from my graveyard back to my hand. And because I need a hand, I'm going to add the two hands of Exodia. I activate Scapegoat at this time. So I can ask for summon the Scapegoat. Joey and Yugi in defense mode because they're weak and the best card in Yu-Gi-Oh! Alright. I'm saying let's face an in my turn. I draw. Do, do, do. Uh. Hmm. Should have fought this through. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. Ah. Uh. Yeah, I probably should have thought this through. Um, oh, that's fun. Oh. Kick, cupcake, surprise. I'll tribute Rocket Warrior for the Red Eyes Arch Fiend of a Light Aning. <laughs> oh, so great. I activate Obliterate and I send the left arm in my hand back to my graveyard in order to send the Red Eyes Arch Archfiend back to your hand. No! Yes! <laughs> okay, I will. Um, hmm. Okay, so I need to do um, something. So I will end my turn. That was One, something. Two, oh, and I have eight cards, so I'll get. I need to discard two. I will discard the amazing. Oh, you can send them the spell and draw cards only if you have a spell trap. I'll set this piece down so I only have to discard one card. And I will get rid of Atrader. Alright. My turn, and I'm tributing the right arm, and all summoning out the tricky. Can I use obliterate? <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm activating. Oh no. Tricky will then attack the Alias Or Token. I'll set this face down and end my turn. I draw. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, if I use time with it, I might lose. <laughs> uh. Especially since it's only time with its attack points, you might lose risking your 100 life points. I have amazing life points. Um, I will do a um, uh, stir something. I will. Uh, Set this face down and uh, end my turn. Before your end phase, I'm activating the tricky spell four. Tributing the tricky, enabling me to summon out four trickies in defense mode equal to the number of trickies you have. I don't have any trickies. Equal to the number of monsters you have, so it's four trickies. I mean, what, does that just, is that just them? Yeah. When? And they're all spellcasters. Still so can't use the spell card. Obviously. Okay. Your turn. Draw. Switch them all to attack mode. How much defense is a tricky guy? Oh, 12. And they'll all destroy car monsters. All of them? Like every single one? Yeah. Oh, no. Uh, so to the side. Can I oh, that's, you got gone. Your move. And draw. Hmm. We've got 1200, haven't we? Oh no, they've got 2,000. Mm. Do you want to gamble the time wizard? Mm, maybe. I summon out Red Eyes Retro Dragon. Uh. I activate over the right. Okay. And I'll send... Contract with Exodia! Bouncing your red eyes retro back to your hands. I will chain the trap guard. First breath and target my 
Red Eyes Retro Dragon, so this card will resolve, sending it to the graveyard, destroying all monsters with defense lower than 1700 that you control. That's all my token cards. Mm -hmm. Right then, it is now your turn. Draw, and then I get to add to my hand Marshmallow. And and then I'm gonna act. To the, then I'm just gonna summon Marshmallow and attack you directly. Ah, oh, that sucks. And that's game, guys. There we have it. That was an extremely intense duel. So give us a couple of seconds to switch around the field, and then you get to see a reverse on it. Me using Joey's and my brother here using Yuki's deck. Alright guys, we've got our field all set up. I'm using Joey's deck here with the Legend Collection Joey map. And my brother over here is using Yuki's deck with the Yuki's Legend Collection set map. So without further ado, why don't we shuffle our decks. To prove we're not using a cheated deck, a rigged deck. And of course, hand to the opponent so they can shuffle it. To prove that we're not cheating. Because we don't want to be known as cheaters, do we? Nope. Anyway, and of course, hand back to the opponent. Show off. <laughs> and of course, right this is to see who goes first. Uh, you'll go first. Okay. I'll Let's start. Uh, let's do. I'm starting on it. Okay, then I'll set one card face down to end my turn. The greatest play ever, a face down. You'll be scared. You're scared of it. I know you. I'm just searching for my options. You have no options. You lose. So there we are. It's the end of the game. <laughs> Because I don't want to be like a twit when I play the Blackstone of Legend. And with this card, I can tribute it to summon out another Red Eyes from my deck. When you look at your hand, as soon as you see that card, that's the first card. You just slap it on the field and use its effect. Yeah, because I'm going to now summon out the Red Eyes, Archfiend of Lightning. Mm -hmm. Attack! Boom, Blast Magician. I am my turn. I draw. And I now set the strongest card in the world face down in my turn. The strongest card. Okay, I summon out of Valkyria Knight in attack mode. Mm -hmm. Alright, Valkyria Knight, attack. Sun Gang, and I use his special, amazing, special ability. She allows me to add a 1500 dollars attack point monster from my deck to my hand. Oh, I am going to add the Marshmallion, aka Giant Marshmallow. <laughs> Your move. I draw. I now set a card face down and end my turn. Draw. I saw another dark Valgaria. Mm -hmm. And next I equip it with the Super Vice spell card. Now it can be used as a Gemini and it gains its spell counter. Next, I'll use its effect to get rid of the spell counter to destroy the face down defense monster. Perfect. Really? You can move the spell counter that it wants to put a strike target. That's stupid. Pure luck! Next, I'll equip the Valgarian Knight with a Salamandra card, increasing its power by 700. Mm -hmm. Archfiend of Lightning will attack you directly. The Valgarian Knight will attack you directly. And the Valkyrian and the Dark Valkyrian will attack you. Oop, one number. You're down to 1100. 
your move. If I am to win this, I need the heart of the cards to guide me. Ah, oh, the cards didn't guide you! I activate the monster reincarnation. So by getting rid of my silent magician, I can now target the Sangan and add that card to my hand. The Sangan? I thought you'd pick Marshmallow. Actually, he's either only got 18. 1800. I swing Sangan and I attack a Dark Valkyria. So I take 800. Why would you do that? And I add um, the right leg. And then I. Uh, it's not I can do. What? No! <laughs> Obliterate! Oh my god! <laughs> yes! Yes! Oh my god! <laughs> yes! Wow! I lost! From Exodia! Yes! Oh. <laughs> oh! Yes! Oh wow! Well guys! <laughs> it's safe to say I won. <laughs> I just got thrashed! <laughs> oh wow! Using a... Oh my! Oh wow! <laughs> oh! I came that close! <laughs> Oh, it's down to 300 life points. <laughs> oh, well, you were alive on that from the first turn. Exodia. I had three pieces in my first hand, a juice sangan, and then I used being kind to get it back. Heart of the cards guided me. <laughs> oh, the card. Heart of the cards. <laughs> oh. Well, guys, if it wasn't for Exodia, I probably would have won with Joey's deck, and then it would be evil. But then he turns it around and uses Exodia. Oh my god, Alex! <laughs> yes! Oh. Well, I'm gonna go cry in a corner now. Because Yugi won all! And I just got beaten up by Exodia of all gods. Oh my god. So while I go cry in the corner, guys, this is us signing off. Obliterate! Uh, bye bye! <laughs>